Count Vertigo, created by Jerry Conway and Trevor Von Eden. Full name, Count Werner Vertigo. Occupation, nationalist. Known relatives, none. Group affiliation, Suicide Squad. Base of operations, mobile. First appearance, World's Finest Comics, number 251, June, July, 1978. Height, 5 foot 11 inches, weight 189 pounds, eyes blue, hair blonde. History Werner Vertigo grew up in the small eastern European country of Latava. His family was the last monarchy to occupy Vltava's throne. Vertigo and his family fled their homeland for England when the Russians threatened to absorb Vltava after World War II. The family was forced to sell many of their possessions to survive in the early post-war years. Born with a hereditary inner ear defect, Werner received an experimental electrical implant designed to restore his sense of balance. Curious about the device, he researched it while in college and discovered he could make minor adjustments to it that would affect the balance of those around him. Designing a costume and proudly displaying his inherited title, Count Vertigo began to commit crimes using his newfound abilities. His first major heist was in Star City, America, where he tried to unlawfully recover jewels that his regal family sold during their exodus from Vlatava. During their attempted theft, he encountered Black Canary and Green Arrow. Despite his powers, he was defeated and imprisoned. While in prison, criminal psychologists discovered that Vertigo was an egotistical manic depressive with wild and violent mood swings. After the last of many escapes from prison, Count Vertigo was apprehended by Manhunter and subsequently delivered to Belle Reve, the federal penitentiary for metahumans. He was then recruited into the Suicide Squad, the US government sponsored group of expendable super operatives. Vertigo met frequently with Belle Reve psychologist Dr. Simon Legreve, who tried to chart his mood swings and advised the squad accordingly. Legreve warned the squad that Vertigo's swings were growing wilder and more violent to a point where he might be capable of murder. When the Suicide Squad was disbanded, Vertigo returned to Belle Reve to recover from his battle wounds. Soon afterward, General Stoneman arranged for his release and delivered him into the hands of William Heller, who was trying to stage a revolution in Blatava to install his own government. Using a variety of drugs to control Vertigo's manic depressive condition and manipulate his superpowers, Heller threatened the entire Eastern European balance of power. These dire doings forced the United States government to reactivate the Suicide Squad and Vertigo was confronted by his former allies and Batman. The squad managed to use Poison Ivy's powers to counteract the influence of the drug used on Count Vertigo. Then the squad ended Heller's plan and allowed the Vlaktarvan people to decide their own destiny. Vertigo has once again rejoined the Suicide Squad. Powers and Weapons Count Vertigo was trained in many forms of combat while raised in England. He has not pursued his studies, nor has he attempted to supplement his original training. Vertigo relies entirely on the powers created by the device located by his right temple. While its electronic impulses restore a normal sense of balance to Vertigo, it helps him mentally adjust those impulses and rechannel them externally, affecting others by distorting their equilibrium. The range of this ability has increased over time and with practice. Count Vertigo's power can now affect approximately two city blocks. Count Vertigo once used another device that turned his illusions into reality. He has also gained the power of flight from an undisclosed source.